In this video, we're going to be talking about the Chainsaw Man anime release and why it's going to be so good. Yo, what's up boys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Siphon back at it again. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining why this anime is going to be so good. So let's start off with some stats. So in Japan, the Chainsaw Man anime is actually number 10 on the list for most wanted anime adaptation of 2021. Not only that, but it's actually estimated to be more popular than the new grossing anime Jujutsu Kaisen, which is insane considering it's such a great anime as well as a manga, which has sold millions of copies and has done really well on streaming services like Crunchyroll and Funimation. Not to mention the animation studio that has animated Jujutsu Kaisen as well as Attack on Titan is taking on this project as well. So the company MAPPA is going to be showing us some phenomenal storytelling as well as great visual effects which has won them many awards over the years. But enough of the stats, let's go ahead and get into the story as to why it's going to be this good. So to start off we fall into a mysterious world in which humans and devils coexist together. The devils are based off of any fear a human has. So the way that the power levels are distinguished is depending on how scared each human is in the the amount of humans that are scared of a particular object. So the more people that are scared of the object and the more scared people are of it in general, the more powerful they are. So an example of this would be the gun devil, which people do have a fear of guns, which is why it's one of the most powerful devils in the actual manga and anime. We're going to be talking about him in a second, so keep that in mind. So in the store, we have a young devil hunter named Denji, who is a devil hunter who kills devils for a mob gang called the Yakuza. The reason Denji kills devils for the Yakuza is because his father actually owed money to the Yakuza, and since his father killed himself to get himself out of the debt and out of his horrible life, he actually left the debt to be inherited by Denji, which is how that stuff works in gangs, I guess, in the story. So the gang actually takes advantage of Denji and makes him kill devils at any time of the day and doesn't give him any money in return. Something which is interesting is all the devil bodies and parts that are left behind can actually be sold on the black market, which is what this gang actually does. So they've already made well over the debt that Denji has accrued, which is messed up because Denji is still very much poor and fighting to stay alive. But aside from that, the way Denji is actually able to kill these devils is because he has a partner called Pochita. Pochita and Denji made a contract with each other, which is why they're actually able to work together. So Pochita is a type of devil, which comes from the fear of chainsaws. We're about to get a really cool power boost, so make sure to stay till the end of the video. So later on in the story, Denji is actually betrayed by the Yakuza in exchange for a contract with a zombie devil. So the Yakuza wanted to make a contract with a zombie devil, and in exchange for this contract, they had to have a devil hunter be killed in order to satisfy the contract agreement. Once a contract is made with a devil, you can therefore use their ability as a form of attribute to yourself, as long as certain conditions are met. So Denji and Pochita actually ended up dying and being mutilated by the zombie henchmen. Afterwards, their bodies were thrown into a dumpster. As much as the story is sad, this is where it actually changes for the better. So while Pochita is still slightly alive, he decides to eat some of Denji's blood, therefore gaining strength and forming a new contract with Denji. This contract includes Pochita becoming Denji's new heart in exchange for Pochita being able to watch Denji live his dreams, which is very admirable. Once the contract has been sealed, the once dead Denji is now brought back to life but now has a cord sticking out of his chest. He then pulls this cord and transforms into a demon, which allows him the ability of chainsaws. From then on, Denji exacts his revenge on the zombie devil and his henchmen and completely kills and destroys all of them. After that, an organization called the Public Safety Devil Hunters show up and see the massacre that Denji had done. We are then introduced to Makima, which is another main character of the story who gives him an ultimatum. The ultimatum consists of either he decides to work for the organization and help them kill other destructive demons or he can be killed on the spot. So in an effort to stay alive, Denji joins them. In this special organization, we introduced two new characters named Aki and Power. Power is more interesting because this person is actually a devil called a fiend which takes over the body of someone who's dead. So they have very nice abilities. Towards the end of the manga chapter, we're actually told the true antagonist of the story, which is called the Gun Devil. The Gun Devil is one of the most dangerous devils to ever exist, considering it killed over 1 million people in one massacre. Because of Makima's powers of persuasion and Denji's lust for her, Makima then asked Denji to help the organization take down the gun devil with the condition that if he shall ever run away from her and the organization he is to be hunted down and killed as a devil if you guys are interested in this anime go ahead and check it out and set it on your calendar because it's coming out this october thank you guys for watching so much hope you guys did enjoy and please be sure to check out any of my other videos to see if you guys like the anime content i make thank you guys see you in the future peace